we're gonna be exploring this full face of makeup today. What's new at the drugstore is up next. Hi friends, I have this full face of drugstore makeup that I wanna to bring to you. These are drugstore products that I have pretty much just been trying out. I do have full reviews on every single product. There are a couple things that I have on my face that I wasn't able to get that's quite new, but we've got a lot of ColourPop, a lot of Essence, some um, Sydney Grace in here as well, which I kind of decided to put into this drugstore category because some of her products aren't that expensive and really kind of compare to a lot of the little pricier drugstore items. So let's get into talking about what's new at the drugstore right now. All right, so I said that there's a lot of ColourPop in here. There sure is. First of all, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Primer. This one was a nice primer for hydrating right before makeup. It doesn't really have a lot of the properties of smoothing or you know pore refining or anything like that and it really doesn't have a lot of the properties of gripping the makeup either so if you're somebody that is dry skin and you feel like right before you put your makeup on that you need something that's hydrating this might work out really great for you however I'm kind of a little bit turned off by the smell. Now I do have it underneath my makeup right now and it isn't like that I can smell it right now and it isn't like grossing me out right now. However, I do think that this might have been a bottle that was a little bit older because it does have a little funky smell in it. So just keep that in mind. It's not one that I would purchase for a primer just because I want my primer to do other things other than just hydrate. So it's a good primer for hydrating, but not good for pore refining or holding your makeup on, just so you know that one. The two foundations that I chose to put on today, and yes, I did do one on one side and the other on the other side. This is the Ordinary Full Coverage or Coverage Foundation. And this one is in 1.2N. I do not feel like this is a neutral foundation. I had to add in my blue mixing medium from LA Girl in order to make it you know come across my very cool toned skin and not be too orange it's got great coverage on it i have worn this several times and i do feel like it wears really well i think that if you're somebody that has normal skin and you have mature skin this is going to work for you however however i don't feel like it's really great if you do have dry skin i do feel like it's a little bit more on the dry side a little more matte than i like in my foundations i'm sure that you can add something to this it's a great foundation as far as staying power and how it covers and all of that and I don't feel like it's broken apart a lot so it is a good foundation as far as all those things go but I do feel like it's a little bit too matte for my aging skin the other one that I used was from ColourPop this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation and I do like this this is much more dewy it does have really good coverage I did have to go into my cheeks right here the area where I get a lot of discoloration and go in with a second coat where as the ordinary did cover in one coat but doing two coats didn't make it look cakey or anything like that it does feel really dewy and really pretty on the skin this and is a beautiful foundation i feel if you do have very very dry skin i do like it and i do like the way it wears throughout the day i don't feel like there was a lot of break apart on it and i do feel like it was fairly long wearing at least eight hours so, so i do think that this is on a scale of five stars i do think that this is like a three and a half to a four um on the foundation scale so i do like both of those foundations and for my eyes today i do have on the bh cosmetics blueberry muffin palette this is such a fun palette i really do like the blues in here i started out with this peachy color down here for my transition then i mixed these two right here for the next shade up on my lid there or not on my lid but on my eye right there and then i deepened it up with a mixture of this right here which is kind of a charcoal blue and then the berry up here the deepened berry color and i also went on the lid with part of this just kind of towards the outer v just a little bit where i wasn't darkening too much and then i used this color right here for the lid really nice shadows they perform really well they were very easy to blend i didn't find any problems there they're quite pigmented especially these blues of course blues usually are pigmented i usually don't have much of a problem with them these there are a couple of colors in here like this one right here that i do feel like if you're going to wear them on your lid you want to kind of go easy on them or use them in a little bit of a layering process so 
I do like this palette. I think it was all kinds of fun. BH to me is kind of one of those companies that doesn't get a lot of love on social media, but I do like them. And I feel like they have some really great palettes. Um, my thing with BH Cosmetics is it, the turnover there. Um, I really kind of feel like they don't necessarily need to get a new palette out every month or every week, kind of like ColourPop. It just seems a little bit overwhelming, but I can say that I really did enjoy using this blueberry muffin palette. On my eyebrows, I was trying out the new Maybelline Brow Extensions. This is a brow crayon that has little fibers in it. Now, when I do this right here on my hand, I can see those little fibers in it. So I do know that those are in there. This one was just a little bit too warm brown for me. I feel like I could have, this is a medium brown. I wish that I had been able to get my hands on an ashy brown color because that's more along the lines of what I do for my eye my eyebrows and i do like this however i wish i know that they really couldn't do much about the tip of it but i do wish that it was a little bit more fine and you could get really precise with it that's the only complaint i have about it i do feel like it caught my own hairs and it built them up really good and i do feel like you have to go in with something afterwards to hold them in place so even though it is like a crayon pomade type thing it definitely needs something else to hold it which i came in with the color pop this is the brow boss gel and this one i have is in blonde now this one was too orange for me um i really do like using a brown and not necessarily a blonde because i do find that they do warm that blonde up most of the time but i love that little brush like it reminds me of the one that you get in the elf wow brow which i'm totally hooked on this really does a good job of keeping my brows in place so and it really enhances the hairs that i already have so these two together is what i use today and i actually like them both next i do have a couple products from essence this is their contouring um, duo palette and it is the light version or the lighter skin they have a darker skin one too this color right here is what i contoured with today I do like that it leans more towards the cool side. So if you're trying to do a contour on it instead of bronzing, you get that a little bit more, but still it does have a little bit more warmth in it than what I like. Um, I did use it today to carve out the cheekbones and the jawline and, you know, help my forehead there, my five head there. Um, and I do feel like it was a very nice powder, creamy, and it blended really well. If I didn't have anything for contour, this isn't too bad on it. Um, but I didn't use this color over here at all. It's one that you would kind of carve out your jawline with, which I don't do. So if you do that kind of contouring, this palette might be, might be for you. But for me, it was just a little bit more on the warm side than I wanted. And then the other product from Essence, this is their Matte Bronze Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. And I believe this is in the Chocolate Sunday. This is their 03. So I think that this was the darkest one. I like this one a lot. It does have that fragrance of having just a little bit of the coconut smell in it. So they're trying to do the Physician's Formula or the Marc Jacobs um, Coconut Tantastic bronzer. Um, this one is definitely warmer, definitely, definitely warmer. And you'll be able to see the two colors right there. So here's the contouring. And then this one is the bronzing. I don't mind a warmer tone when I'm looking at what I need for my bronzers. It's just when you get to that contour that I'm not crazy about it. However, I do feel like this still pulls just a little bit too warm for me. I would even want it to be just a little bit more on the red side so that it was a little bit bronzing with the red instead of the orange. So this is one that I think is a beautiful product. It blends really, really well, and it didn't put on too much too fast, so you weren't having to buff out your bronzer, which I really like. But I do feel like that the color was not right for me. But if you like the, these warmer colors for your bronzer, it's a beautiful bronzer. Next, I went in with the Milan. Milani Baked Highlighter, and this is Dolce Perla. And I thought I had this before, and I guess that I didn't. I used this underneath my blush to start off with, so I kind of built it up underneath the blush and then went over top of it. And it is a pretty highlighter. It is one of those that I can say doesn't cause texture. You know, any powder highlighter that you're gonna use is gonna cause a little bit of texture if you have mature skin, but this one doesn't have any um, glitter in it, and it's not chunky, it doesn't feel heavy. It's a really refined powder and I do like what it did across my cheeks. It really gave 
a pretty glow underneath that blush so it's a pretty powder with blending and how light it is and so i can say yes this is a nice powder and yes i will reach for it again i do like it and then i went in with the new blushes from elf which i'm loving these are the new putty blushes and i went in with tahiti i did a video yesterday or the day before where i did wear the one that is bora bora which is the pink one tahiti is the more along the lines kind of a rosy nude color and Bora Bora is beautiful. It's a it's a pink that you can really sheer out. It's just gorgeous. I really do like that one a lot. And then Tahiti is the one that I have on over top of that Milani highlighter, and I really like it. So it's more of a corally pink, and then this is more of a true pink. And I do like these a lot. I'm going to be getting some more. I love the way that these as a cream blush build up. You aren't putting on a ton when you first started. I use mine with a stippling brush, um, or you could use it with your fingers and, you know, just dab it out. Just I like a stipple brush because I feel like I have more control than my fingers just depositing too much all at once. But these are beautiful, beautiful little blushes, and I think they're going to last a long time because even after using them for three or four days i haven't even started to make a dent in them so i'm really enjoying these and as a cream blush and as a mature woman i love that look it just seems to melt so nicely into the skin with other makeup and these were just so pretty i love the flesh that it gives and i can highly endorse those i think they're just absolutely beautiful for a finishing powder i was trying the color pop this is just their no filter setting powder this one is in soft pink which does brighten up your complexion a little bit if you have a little bit more of a sallow complexion pink brightens and i do like this very much i think it's a nice powder it's very finely milled really really finely milled it reminds me very much of the rcma no color powder that powder powder is so finely milled and it just feels like silk and that's what this feels like but again like i said if you do have dry skin you might not like this i didn't set underneath my eyes with it at all um, and as a matter of fact, I want to bring in what I did wear on my under eyes and it's the uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This, I am not sold on at all. It's a nice concealer in that it does give fairly good coverage, but I do feel like it's a tiny bit patchy. And that again is probably because of how dry my under eyes are. I have really super dry under eyes and very crinkly and really I have a lot of lines in there deep lines not just fine lines i got a lot of wrinkles up there and um so i'm not completely sold on this one i'm not going to tell you that it's one that works really good on mature skin because i do feel like it got quite patchy on me and i i just had a hard time working it in and i think there's other ones at the drugstore that you're going to like better than this one and i did have to go up back in with a second coat which always worries me because if it doesn't get it in the first coat i do feel like sometime during the day it's going to settle into my fine lines and that is not something that I want. So that's one that I'm going to just hold off on telling you guys that it's that good. I'm wearing another couple of ColourPop products for my eyeliner and my lashes. This is their mascara that is their BFF volumizing mascara. This is a little strange. Um, I am not sold on this either, although it built up really well, but it's a little bit clumpy right off the bat, and I'm not crazy about that. So I found myself really wiping this off a lot before I got started, which, you know, can be avoided if they just put a better stopper in there. Um, this is kind of the atypical tiny bit hourglass wand it has the natural bristles which again it's kind of been done over and over again i wish that drugstore mascaras would come out with a little better wand even though this is kind of the the norm and the regular one that everybody is using now I like this as far as building up, but I do know that if I try to wear this on my under eyes, there's no way. It's gonna smudge really bad. So it built up, it gave me great length and great volume, and like I said, it is what I'm wearing today. My lashes are a little bit longer because of the serum I use. However, I do feel like it's still got pretty good length. It's not the best lengthening mascara, but good volume on it. Um, like I said, it's gonna smudge if you wear it underneath your eyes. So if you're looking for a one and done mascara, this probably isn't it. And it was a little bit too clumpy as far as using it and trying to make sure that it got on my eyes evenly. Now, as far as the liner goes, I'm in love with this liner. I think it's fantastic. And this again is, let's read on it what it is. This is the ColourPop Liquid Liner. And this is the blue one. I don't know what color it is. I'll make sure that I kind of throw it up on the screen for you there. 
I really like this. I love the blue because I was wearing a blue look underneath my eyes with that blueberry palette anyway. And I really like the way that that blue on the top just kind of defined it and just kind of pulled it all together a little bit. So the blue liner was fun. And I do like the liner itself. The tip is really fine and it did a great job of going across that top lash line really tight. And, um, you know, my hands shake because I have a disability. So it was great to be able to work with it. And I don't feel like it was so juicy that it got, you know, made a mess as, you know, my hand shake just a tiny bit as I'm putting on my eyeliner. So I do like that one as well. All right, for a lip liner, I have on the Essence Stay Put Lip Liner. This is supposed to be eight hour waterproof. This is a mechanical liner. And this one is called Keep Receipts. And there is a liner underneath underneath here. Now I may have shown this in a video before, but I can't remember that I did. So forgive me if I have shown this to you guys before. I do enjoy I, the color of this. It's a pretty rose color, very pretty rose color. I enjoy how creamy it is. I enjoy that it was able that I was able to kind of feather it out and make it look really soft. So I really have been enjoying these that are the ones that are the mechanical. I love both of them. I love the soft contouring one that you have to sharpen yourself, but I I like this one too. So both from Essence are really good pencils. And then the last thing that I have to show to you is from Sydney Grace, and this is their lip glosses. And that's what I'm wearing today. And let me find out what these colors are for you. This first one is called Haley, and then the second one is called Chloe. So Haley is the more rose mauvey one, which I love. These are just beautiful, saturated. They remind me of Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses. And and they're so good. And then Chloe is the one that I have in the center. And they are just absolutely beautiful, beautiful glosses. They just um, run across your lips so smoothly. And they are just an incredibly pretty gloss. So creamy and so buttery. And they last a long time on the lips. Of course, because they are a gloss, they're not going to be completely waterproof or mask proof, but they do have that opacity to them. It's just a beautiful glossy color. And I wanted to make sure that I showed those to you really, really have been enjoying these a lot. They're so gorgeous. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks so much for stopping by, keeping me company for a little while. And is there anything new at the drugstore that you have seen recently that you would like to tell me about? Let me know that in the comment section below. I always want to know about good drugstore finds. Thanks so much. I love you guys very much. Please stay healthy, stay happy, stay sanitized, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye guys.